Birmingham United has made it up to the Premier League, but the club has won no major trophies in the last decade. So it's time to transform this small club into giants by trying to win our first ever piece of silverware. And here to help us is our rich owner, Arthur Blank. He's our key to success. And he partners us up with a brand that he has ties to, Coca-Cola, a huge company that can give us a lot of money to take this team to the next level. The new deal gives us 75 million to spend, which is gonna go a long way. We kick off the window with some small deals for a backup right back and a backup goalkeeper that should help this team's depth. But the real signing that we've all been waiting for is to bring Jazzy Parker, Birmingham United's best ever player, back here to play with us in the Premier League. We've tried negotiating for two seasons now, but finally, we have the funds to hopefully bring him in. It all comes down to whether AC Milan will accept, and they do. Jazzy's already said he wants to return to Birmingham United, and we are willing to give him whatever wages he wants to come back and be our star player. This is a sign of enormous intent from Birmingham United, bringing back a world-class player to help us elevate to the next level here in the Premier League, and hopefully win some silverware this season. It's our biggest ever transfer, and I really want to make Parker the focal point of this team, so I'm even going to change the formation to try to get the best out of him and play him as an attacking midfielder. We have other great attacking players like Vargas, Hobbs, and Bowden, and hopefully they all complement each other. Now, Diego Vargas has bulked up in the offseason, and he's traded a little bit of pace for a significant amount of strength. Hopefully, this will help him adapt even more to the Premier League this season. And I can't start the season either without mentioning Kareem Amraoui, who had a great loan last season, comes back at 75 overall. He's going to be our starting right back against rivals Aston Villa on game day one. Well, this is a period of true building for Birmingham United. Players like Diego Vargas and Jazzy Parker have come to try to take this team to the next level. And with young players like Kareem Amraoui looking to make an impact in the team, this season's gonna be pivotal for us showing that we can grow into a top club and really compete with other teams for silverware at the highest level. But it might take some time for this team to gel. Kareem Amraoui, with a little mistake here late in the game, gives the ball away to Aston Villa in the box. Well, despite all the promise in the youth and the new signings, it hasn't quite clicked for us yet, and it might just take some time for us to start to get results this season. Now, just like last year, our message here is to be patient and give this team some time to gel. We've made a lot of changes, but I have a lot of belief in this side. Now, it wasn't a great first game for Kareem Amraoui, but we continue starting him, and I am putting full faith in our entire team I think we've set everyone up really well for success this season, and we're seeing some beautiful attacking play. Diego Vargas with the deflected shot, but Lopez scores. It is beautiful stuff, and we actually go up 1-0 against Liverpool. This season, we're once again trying to play possession football with a high-pressing system, and here it comes off as Jazzy Parker with the pressure high up the field does it all himself to create a chance and score his first goal back at Birmingham United. That is a sight that we have missed. So with a game on the line at 2-1 very late in the match, Diego Vargas showing off his newfound strength in the corner to shield the ball and maturely see this game out. That is a huge statement from Birmingham United with a win against one of the top clubs in the country. And as we go further into the season, it's clear our attacking force is something to be reckoned with. Jazzy Parker remains our talisman through this period, but he's supported by a lot of our other great players, like Matthew Hobbs, who's been underrated and is setting up so many assists for his teammates as we continue to find success. And you can start to feel the responsibility on Jazzy Parker's shoulders. He's our best player by a landslide, and he's trying his best to drag this team to wins, but Sometimes it's at the cost of being a little selfish, if I'm being honest. He has opportunities to pass to teammates, but instead he's going for glory himself. And when it doesn't come off, it's leaving the other teammates frustrated and not feeling involved enough with the team. We're becoming a little dependent on our star player and it's beginning to cost us points in games where he can't score because our defense is not always gonna keep clean sheets. But after the first couple games in the Premier League, it's time for our first shot at a cup competition and possibly some silverware this season. The Carabao Cup is definitely the most winnable of all of our competitions this season and we get off to a running start against Fulham with a really good performance where, predictably, Chazzy Parker scores the final goal of the game to seal the deal and see us through. Now I'm holding out a lot of hope in that competition because in the Premier League we're in 15th and realistically we're not going to challenge for much. And some of those problems that are starting to pop up in the squad are getting worse as the season goes on. Norwich City scored the opening goal against us here and Jazzy Parker trying to take matters into his own hands 
is again being a little selfish and just trying to do too much on his own. It's leaving the rest of the team feeling frustrated and the chemistry starting to break down as the team that started the season really brightly is no longer performing to the same standards. And what started as Parker being a little selfish is spilling into the rest of the team because now they don't necessarily all trust each other to be passing the ball. And even Diego Vargas starts to look for a goal himself rather than pass the simple ball and really work as a team to score goals. It's becoming a bigger and bigger problem. And it seems like at the moment, our attacking players are not necessarily trusting each other with the ball. But there are some team players still left in here. Kareem Amrawi plays through a beautiful ball from right back and Jazzy Parker does still end up finding the goal that decides this game. I mean, there's simply no doubting this kid's talent. I think it's clear he is a world-class player. And despite maybe not playing the best as a team, Parker is scoring boatloads of goals, and even in the Premier League, it's dragging us to at least some standard of success. But as we've seen in the past, relying too much on one player is not only not good for the team, it leaves us pretty much one injury away from being a shadow of the team that we are at the moment. And as Vargas and Parker continue to go back and forth, not passing to each other and trying to be the star of the show, it's clear that we need to step in and prevent this from going any further. Now we're hanging around 16th place, which is not good enough considering the talent we have. So I have a talk with the squad and make it clear. No one player is above the team. And from now on, any selfish behavior is gonna result in being benched. We have to work together to find success. I mean, it's clear Jazzy Parker came in with big expectations and he's trying to fulfill the role of star player in this team. But him and Vargas have to listen to us because we're simply not getting the best of the rest of our players like Matthew Hobbs, who still has yet to score a goal as our starting striker this season. But we stick with our player and hopefully the team will look a little more united now. We laid out an ultimatum and anybody who's not following our team play and tactics is gonna be benched. But we're immediately seeing better from this team as Diego Vargas and Jazzy Parker, the two players I was specifically trying to motivate, link up for the first goal. And then Jazzy Parker driving through midfield is finally looking for teammates and looking to link up the rest of the play as Karim Amrawi sets up the captain, Matthew Hobbs, for his first goal of the season. That was a long time coming, and it's a sign that I think we're finally improving. And you can't write this. The semifinals of the Carabao Cup, we take on our rivals, Birmingham City. They were relegated last season, and we are finally getting the chance to play them again. As offers come in for our players as we enter January, Kareem Amrawi has a couple potential moves away, but I think he's shown he's a crucial player in our team. And I think we have a little bit of work to do with the wage structure. We've made some big new signings, but we have players like Arthur Bowden and the captain Matthew Hobbs who are on not a lot of money at all. And if we wanna keep them going forwards, I think we need to work with the owner to make sure we're giving fair wages to all of our players. We don't wanna be a selling club because we wanna grow this team into winners. So Arthur Blank is gonna back us. And finally, we work out a new wage structure with the rest of the team Everybody is getting significant pay increases, and hopefully this will help us keep a hold of our best talent going forwards. So let's hope the team is ready for this huge clash against our rivals, and they've sold players like Harry the Hammer Thompson and their star striker Wallace that are not looking like the same team that we left off with last season. And I'm gonna try something a little tactically crazy going into this game. Matthew Hobbs, who we know is a great playmaker, I'm gonna swap with Jazzy Parker, who can play up top and allow Hobbs to be more of a playmaker in an attacking midfield role. We're gonna customize this and push him up a little bit and hope that he can score goals by making late runs into the box. I think this just might suit him a little bit better though. And Hobbs pulling the strings from midfield early in this game as Amrawi looks for the ball in. I do hope this decision pays off because like I said, it's a bit of a crazy one, but we're looking pretty in control here early in the game as Amrawi sets up Lopez who hits a perfect strike into the back of the net, and the team is playing so well together. Amrawi has had an absolute breakthrough season here as a playmaking right back. Will we see some late drama here as Birmingham United are desperate to find a goal to tie things up with only one or two minutes remaining in this match, and Arthur Bowden always has that pace to him, and off the counterattack, he is sprinting by the defense. This could be a chance, and Arthur Bowden capitalizes on that and ends things 2-0, a closer game than we would have liked, but Thankfully, I think our new tactics have paid off and it's enough to see us through. We have our first cup final in the Carabao Cup against Wolverhampton Wanderers next. We're sitting in 14th in the league, so I think it's safe to say we're not getting relegated, but 
We're certainly not fighting for any European spots, which means that this single game in the final of the Carabao Cup could be our only chance at success this season. Now we've had a meteoric rise to success with Birmingham United, and this is our first chance at cementing ourselves as a top club. And although we've built a really good team, this is the first significant challenge we've ever had to come across. None of these players have any experience competing in competitions at the highest level, and they'll be looking to take the step up and show they can do that. Kayo Correa has been playing excellent at center back this season as we come under a lot of pressure here early in the game, but we're going toe to toe with Wolverhampton Wanderers and actually, I don't say so myself, looking the better team. Matthew Hobbs pulling the strings from deep in midfield looks excellent so far as Diego Vargas cuts inside. Great chance and it's inches wide. We've had a few good chances, but we need to be more clinical if we really want to show that we're a top side because Big teams in these kind of finals always get the job done and Wolves score the first goal of the game. Despite our dominance earlier on, we find ourselves down a goal. Now, can Birmingham United claw our way back into this game with only 10 minutes remaining? We're doing everything we can and looking to get a lot of chances in. Julian Lopez tries to set up Arthur Bowden. We just can't get that final ball through. But we've looked good and we're creating so many chances. There's still time left. Arthur Bowden finding his way in on goal and he can't get around the goalkeeper. That just could have been the final chance of the game, but we're not giving up here. Seconds remaining, Jazzy Parker looks to take his man on and it almost comes off, but it's called back for a free kick. Can we find the final chance here? Parker for Hobbs, trying to get anything in behind enemy lines and Parker with the header, it's saved by the goalkeeper and we just cannot finish. Oh, it's heartbreaking stuff here from Birmingham United who left it all on the pitch, but still it wasn't enough on the day. That's a tough one to swallow, but on the bright side, morale has stayed really high in this team as we've come together and are playing beautiful football. I think we still have a shot at making something of this season. We're already in round five of the FA Cup and I don't think it's exactly likely that we make it to two cup finals in one season, but at least with the game in front of us, Leeds United is not a bad draw. Well, no matter what happens, one thing's for certain this season is that we've grown this team a lot. We look so much better than last year. Jesse Parker with the outrageous skill. Oh my God. That's the goal of the season, if not the goal of this career. Now Jazzy Parker has maybe struggled to fulfill his full potential over the course of this career, not making it at Manchester City and then doing okay at AC Milan, but there's no doubting he has hit absolute top gear for Birmingham United here. And I think an underrated part of this team has been our defense. Kayo Correa and Sean Gibbs have been outstanding center backs this season. And our newfound ability to hold on to clean sheets means that the goals that our attackers are scoring are actually enough to see through games. And the captain, Matthew Hobbs, is absolutely excelling at this new attacking midfield role. He's actually scoring a lot more than he ever did up top, which is surprising, but hey, we'll take it. As we march on in the FA Cup, we've made it to the quarterfinals. And guys, with Newport County, our next opponents, I think there's a good chance we go through to the next round again. And that's pretty much exactly what happens. We're just too athletic for this team. Arthur Bowden makes it look easy with a run in behind for the only goal of the game. We just keep marching on. And at this point, I cannot believe our luck. The semifinals are against Huddersfield. No disrespect to them, but there's a lot more difficult sides that we could have come across in this FA Cup run. Now, a lot of this season has been learning as we go. We had our first cup final earlier, and although it was disappointing, that is invaluable experience for this team as we continue to thrive with the system that we've set out. And like I already mentioned, the defense is really the catalyst for setting this team up. We have a really formidable back line who's not afraid to put in some dirty challenges and manage to keep a hold of important clean sheets to keep us moving along. And unbelievably, we find ourselves in another cup final. This time it's against Liverpool. And with us sitting in 12th place, we really have nothing left to lose in the league. This has been a fantastic season of growth. And a lot of our players are hitting the ground running. Jazzy Parker's been outstanding. Arthur Bowden scoring. Kareem Amarawi has 11 goals from right back. And honestly, Matthew Hobbs with now seven goals and nine assists seems to have found his home in midfield. And it's all gonna come down to one game as we take on Liverpool for one final chance at silverware this season. Regardless of what happens in this game, this season has been a huge step forward from Birmingham United. We've shown that we're not the kind of club to just come up and fight relegation every season, but really establish ourselves in the Premier League. And with two cup finals this season, I think we've shown that we're genuinely one of the best sides in the entire country. 
But I think it's safe to say Liverpool and teams like Manchester City and the other big clubs in England are still a ways ahead of us. And we have a long way to go to continue our development. But for now, it's a one-off game and anything could happen. Like I said, we won against Liverpool earlier in the season, so we know that we're fully capable of pulling this off. And honestly, if anything, I think we're a better team now than we were earlier in the season. The chemistry's come a long way, we've tweaked the tactics, and I think we're really getting the best out of our star players. And as we continue to bomb forwards here, it's a really good chance and a penalty given to Birmingham United earlier in this game. That strength from Diego Vargas to fight for balls, and in this case, win a penalty kick for that elbow in the face, has really taken the team to the next level, and Brooks Lennon scores the first goal of the game. Now, Hobbs might be our captain, but Lennon is a real leader in this team, and as one of our first signings, he's been around since the beginning. <laughs> he just scored what could be the most important goal in Birmingham United history, if results stand, but there's still a long way to go here as our defense tries to keep the clean sheet again. This is gonna be a big ask though. We're throwing bodies on the line and at least we're not falling under the pressure just yet, but we have some real nervy moments here at the back. But we see things through to halftime and we're in really good shape. 45 minutes left to play and we are in the commanding position of the game. We just have one more half of football to get through and this could be the biggest achievement in Birmingham United history, but let's not take anything for granted. Liverpool are still offering a huge amount of threat going forwards. We're firmly on the back foot here in the second 45, but we're not gonna be expected to, or even realistically able to, control the game against teams like this. So all we have to do is make sure we can absorb pressure and find chances where we can take them. And Jazzy Parker now might be clean through on goal, but the unselfish back heel to find Arthur Bowden scores the second and final goal of this game. This team has evolved so much. Jazzy Parker went from coming in and being a little selfish to really contributing at a team level and seeing us through to our first ever piece of silverware. And if you guys want to play with the team yourselves, the mod is now free on my Patreon. Link in the description. You can also just subscribe to the Patreon to help support the channel. I'll have some cool stuff coming for EAFC 24. So I'll be back soon with the next episode. But until then, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.